The city of Wyoming is one of the areas really the hardest hit by this flooding. As we told you earlier, city leaders in Wyoming have declared a state of emergency. News Channel 3's Jared Worksma continues our team coverage tonight, and he's joining us live in a neighborhood that was evacuated. And Jared, you've had a little break from the rain there. Is any of that water receding yet? Well, Andy, I think it actually is starting to now. You know, there were, were 100 people affected by the, both the mandatory and voluntary evacuations. Uh, here today and uh, the reason I think the water level might be starting to drop a little bit is because the police that are now stationed here 24 hours a day to protect this neighborhood and these homes uh, they've been coming out here in their amphibious vehicle actually with the uh, oars literally and uh, they've been finding the drains one of them is right here you can see where that is clearing the drains to make sure that the water can get away it's a very good thing that I have this oar as well because walking through this thick, dark water is extremely dangerous. You never know what's underneath. And the big problem in this neighborhood, too, is they've been having problems with manhole covers. Well, that's nothing. So there's actually exposed manholes all over this neighborhood that have been blown out by the backed up floodwaters. The second drain they've been clearing, I don't know if you can tell at home or not, it's actually a whirlpool right here where this drain is just sucking water out of the neighborhood at a, a pretty good clip here it looks like and they are hoping that a few more days of clearing these drains and no rain and maybe some people will get get a chance to start checking out their homes once again as the sun sets on countless flooded homes across west michigan the devastation seems natural and tranquil stark contrast to the mood at sunrise it has probably risen probably close to a foot and I've been here an hour and a half or so the water came so fast in Wyoming's ideal park neighborhood many evacuees knew it was just a matter of time it's not in my house yet but my whole yard is flooded it looks like a lake in Granville what is typically a babbling brook less than 10 feet across now rivals the Grand River it flows into. Been working in Granville 15 years and never had something like this before. Granville Fire Marshal Lene White helped more than 120 elderly evacuees safely get out of Brookcrest Rehabilitation, a five-hour process that started when it became obvious the waters could swallow the building whole. It's starting to flow a lot faster. It's going to get some undercurrents in there. Um, right now we're getting people with boats um, out of houses. The ferocity of the floodwaters has left many with only one option. Pray. I'm going to pray that, you know, it's going to stop raining and so we can get back home. So far, those prayers have been answered. It has not rained much at all tonight. We've noticed only a couple of drops. We are once again not expecting all the rain that we originally thought we were going to have by tomorrow. Rivers still probably cresting at the same time, according to our Keith Thompson. But uh, hopefully, if the rains can uh, hold off, these people will be back in their homes sooner rather than later. Hopefully, uh, late this weekend, but probably not before then. And of course, we'll keep you up to date on all of it. But right now, uh, we are live in Wyoming. I'm Jared Worksma, News Channel 3.